So right now what we're going to do is show you how to use a color sensor to spot a color underneath the robot and then to stop at that color. To do that we're going to have to go to the orange tab which is the flow control and the second block in the flow control is the loop block. The loop block does exactly what it sounds like it does where whatever you put inside this program it will repeat over and over in a loop. So if we look at this particular program for example the robot will go forward half a rotation, he will turn to the right half a rotation, to the left one full rotation, and then back to the right half a rotation, and then because it's in a loop he'll hit this and he'll go back and repeat the program again, and he'll just keep on doing this over and over again. That is convenient at times, but what you really need is to be able to get out of the loop, and that's what we use sensors for. So now that you have your loop block on your program, you're going to go back to the action controls and I'm going to use a move tank block because I prefer that as my movement block. And we want to set the move tank block to on. This means that the move tank block will just run and the robot will just run in an infinite loop forever until the battery dies. But what we want is we want the robot to get out of this loop and we do that by selecting a sensor and every sensor that's available is here in this block. So I'm going to select the color sensor and select it for color. When you select a color sensor, it always defaults to choosing or looking for red. And I don't want it to look for red, so I'm going to turn that off. I want it to look for black. So now the robot will run until it sees black on the color sensor. And then it will kick out of the loop block and do whatever your next command is. So we do need another command here. And I'm going to set that command for off. So what should happen is the robot should now run until it sees a black line or a black mark. And then as soon as it sees that, it will exit the loop and turn off. And now you can go on with your program to do whatever else you want to do after that. There are three areas that can be problems for your robot as it's trying to run these programs. The first is speed. If the robot is going too fast, he might blitz right over the mark that you've set for it to identify without even realizing it was there. So if the robot is having a hard time picking up the spot it's looking for, slow it down. The second and most common problem we run into is the port. Right now, my robot is looking for port 2 on the color sensor, but if you look down here at the robot, it's plugged into port 4, the color sensor, and port 2 is empty. So if the robot is checking, an empty port for a color, it's never going to see it and it'll just keep on going. So make sure that your color sensor is plugged into the port you're checking or that your port is set on the correct port for your robot to identify the color. And then the final problem is if the robot's running in a jerky motion like you see here in this video, you have the motor still set for rotations and it's usually set for one rotation. So the robot will run one rotation check the color sensor, run again, check the color sensor. If it crosses the line while it's running, it will not see it because it only checks the color sensor after this rotation. Having the robot set to on means it's constantly checking so it'll run smoother and see the color. Mm -hmm.